Hey everybody. Oh my god, my hit my face. Okay. Um this is too weird for you. And we are back on Feed the Beast. Fun times on this server. I've actually been doing a lot. Let me just get out of this. I took off Optifine because it, it wouldn't allow me to see other people's stuff in their hands. And whose is this? Oh, okay. It wouldn't allow me to see um stuff in people's hands, so I kinda took it off. But um, there is something, before I get on with the episode, I want to um, talk about. Someone has been taking things from this chest. It used to be full to here. And every time I log on, I just click that button, and it would just shrink and shrink and shrink and get smaller and smaller, and stuff would disappear. And I'm kind of pissed about that. Um, for anybody who's watching that plays on the server don't steal. I think that goes without saying. Uh, if you steal, you're an asshole, and I will um, give you only one warning, and after that, you're done. But, on a, on a lighter note, I have been doing a lot of work. I I bumped up this, um, this setup. I added lasers here, then I had these two on each side, and then I added these, and it, ta it takes like 100 MJ per tick now, which is absolutely crazy. Um, I put an energy tesseract here for my bees. Uh, let's see what else. Um, oh, I've made... Oh, man. Oh, yeah. Alright, so, in my last episode, I was talking about bees, and I, <laughs> I, it was, I said it was going to take such a long time. Well, this is, this is what I got just recently. Um, recording. Uh, Edenic bees, and if you watch my XP at the bottom, uh, options. Oh, my sound is up. Is it? Yeah, it is. If you look at my XP at the bottom, it's it's rising steadily, and this is just one Edenic bee, and I actually got over here. So this is the other uh, tesseract that's getting powering all my machines for the bees um oh did i already have one nope all right sweet i got the species serum nice what else did i get uh, oh i got two longer lifespan excellent explorer effect oh wait i already had one of those didn't i uh we'll we'll synthesize it oh Wait. Explorer effect. Oh, I already had one fully. Eh, I can do it with another one. Edenic. Longer. Actually, you know what? I'll synthesize this. Because I'd rather have a longer lifespan for things. But let's go burn these. Um, these I don't need to be isolating anymore. Ah, oh, crap. Oh, man. Give me your vials. All right, uh, let's go burn these. I had to make this thing because that stupid handheld one was just um, crashing me, and it was so annoying. I could not stand it. And while I put these in the furnace, which is right here, do 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 do. I made some iridium. I got six over six stacks of. Sheldonite ore from the end, which is <laughs> a lot. Um, I yeah, it is a lot. I don't know why. Oh yeah, I was making scrap. I I made five uh, thermal generators, so it's getting like hundred something EU per tick. Let's let's where's EU reader right here. Measurement, 120 EU per tick out of the five, which is actually um, quite a lot for not having other, um, like solar power or anything. And, oh man, I want to make that so much bigger. But I have iridium now, so I can make solar panels. Um, and I think I've macerated all my Sheldonite. Oh no, I still have... 
look at this. Over a, st a stack and 40 of... Oh, wait. And the Nuggets. And I still have, like, three stacks and seven of Sheldon Knight to make. It's absolutely crazy. I'm not going to need any Iridium for... Like, like I'm not going to need to gather any for a long time, which is absolutely awesome. But I don't have all the tools yet in order to... Um, no, I, I want that. In order to, like, use it properly, I guess you would say. I love those guys. Oh, I was just, oh there it goes. Ah, uh, fun stuff. Wait, I only it's oh yeah, 63. Actually, you know what? I don't know if... Oh, wait, but I don't monetize. I was like... I was thinking about... Because all the videos I watch of people, they have um, their... Um, the, the portal stuff going, and then they're like, Oh, wait, I can't do this, huh? But I don't monetize, so... Yeah. Oh, I didn't show you guys how I got all the bees that I did. So, first of all, let's go look at... Um, I've got Imperials, Industrious, I have Valiant, um, I have one of those going, Sinister, Fiendish, I got Austere, they have the craziest effect, um, Creeper, it like makes explosions in the Apiary or Alviary, and man, that freaked me out when I found that out, but this is, um, Edenic, the one I just got, um, it makes Silky Comb, and the explorer effect is uh, the experience one. And then I got resilient, corroded, and tarnished, and rusty. And these are iron, tin, copper. Oh, wait, resilient's just the rocky one, huh? And oh, I got bauxite, um, ancient, and marble. Ancient, these are the guys who have the elongated life, which is like the, the longest, which is what I'm going to use when I'm um, setting up the Edenic bees. Oh, I gotta jump into the test world and show you guys what I have planned. It's crazy. Uh, BRB. Alright, here in my test world. Um. Oh, yeah. Different flight controls. Over here. This is what I have planned. There are so many alvearies in here. Or, not alvearies, apiaries. That uh, it's just it's just crazy. Um, I want, I want to see how long it'll take. Come on, fly. Thank you. Okay. With the experience, I'm up to nine. Twelve. Slash. E mode. Uh oh. God. That Wow. That is... That's insane. And they're all going at the same time because they start at the same time. Oh, wait. Oh, hold on for a second. I don't think they're all working. No, I want it. Give it. I, I want it. Thank you. Alright. Now let's see if it goes up any faster. 38. As they all kick in, it's going to shoot up. It's still going pretty fast, and because I'm high level, it takes a lot more XP to, to level up. But it's still climbing super fast. That's crazy. And then what I want to do is I want to have like this. I think I think this is so 24. Um, ow, oh yeah, <laughs> 24. Then there's um, three would make 27. So there's 37, 40, 50 bookshel uh, <coughs> bookshelves. There's 50 apiaries here, and 50 sets of the bees and the way I'm gonna make them they have to be like flying around producing the comb they can't just be like uh, like it says like no flower up here they can't have that uh, they remove that so what I'm doing is gathering the stuff I dropped and then showing you this 
this is the setup um, that I'm going to use. And right now I just have Nova frames in there. And you can see the bees go down and bounce back up, back up into here, just like right there. So what, what happens is they go down, um, down to black, uh, iron pipe with only exit is up, so they go back up, um, up to white, and back into the apiary. And these are just Autarctic gates with redstone signal off, energy pulse. And that is how I am going to make an basically an automatic XP farm. Where an AFK XP farm. Just uh just kinda like uh, generic B did. Only um he he did it before they were bug fixed. And this is including the bug fix thing and I'm pretty sure you can do it uh on the side. I actually haven't tested it but anyway let's get back to the server. <laughs> Alright. And you know what? I'm just gonna break the turrets for right now. Uh and there we go. Oh wait, where'd you go? Uh oh, where'd it go? There we go. They can be over here. So Ugh, shut up. No. Go. Alright, I, oh my god, I need a storage system so badly. And I need to decorate the inside of my house. It's kind of plain. Anyway. What's, uh, what are we doing? What am I doing right now? Oh, I should show you. Um, Waffle has a... Uh, biomass or yeah, biomass engines uh, set up for his power, and here it is. And I just um, I helped him out and made it automatically shut off the engines when they're not needed. And oh man, it was difficult to do. Like all this um, all this piping. What is this called? Structure piping, cobblestone structure pipe and these are diamond um, and gates iron and gate and gold and gates and whoo what you have to do is you have to tell one thing to um, say if all the inputs are on then turn those off and the inputs are basically um, energy full so I have blue pipe wire on that one I have green pipe wire on this one, red pipe wire on that one, and they all go over here. And it's all the inputs and, um, and the energy full. So this one considers these three and its own uh, energy cell, and then it outputs the signal. But if it if it was like, see how okay that it's dull now. Now if I change it back, it's light. Since it's an AND gate, um, if there's any outputs that are the same, those conditions must be matched. Um, the okay, hold on. Okay, so if I have red pipe and blue pipe signals coming in, and I have it going to like redstone signal on, but um, blue pipe say blue pipe signal off, those two aren't matched. Um, like the they're not both true the conditions so it doesn't output the redstone signal in order for the output to become true both the inputs need to be true I don't know if I explained that really as well as I could have but sure let's go with that um, so basically these f these four are considered by this which sends a yellow pipe signal up to this one then these two are considered by this. I couldn't use any other colored pipe here. So what I had to do is run redstone uh, redstone alloy wire down and I couldn't use the pipes because all four dang it, all four pipes um, red, yellow, green and blue are on this and they would connect up. So I had to do um, redstone energy full and then on this one I did um, it considers the energy from the energy cell and the um, the redstone signal which comes from this one sends it up to blue uh, this if if these are true it would it outputs a green signal and then this one the yellow from here and the green from here 
output a red pipe signal up to here. This one considers the red pipe signal. If the red pipe signal is off, it turns red uh, redstone signal on, which is carried out by this, and turns all the engines on. So basically, if he uses any energy um, stored in the cells, and um, after using all the energy stored in the conduits, then those engines will turn on and replenish it, which is really cool. And it took me so long to get this. It was so annoying. But yeah, this episode, I'm not really going to do that much. I'm pretty much just going to go around and show you guys um, what we've been doing. Oh man, I have to show you guys um, Kami's ghast farm. It is so freaking cool. You're going to love it. Oh, I got a Hydra head. Yay. He's different. Over here. Let's get that on. Okay, you can see those turrets up there. And load. Isn't that awesome? It's like a ghast made out of marble. And he, uh, as you can, you might have been able to see. Would you come over here? <laughs> Um, these are sentry turrets and the gas spawners in the middle. So when you turn it on, it activates the spawner and lag. Let's see if we can go in here. These are um, transposers. They pick up items off the ground. There are some regions like over here where they can't reach, but I don't think he's too worried about them. So, oh no, that's that's right. Okay, so yeah. He has these. I don't know what these are. I'm not sure. Jacketed one? I, I don't know. Whatever. So, let me show you guys what it does. You turn this on. And it spawns in. Oh, God. Sound. Sound. There we go. It spawns them, and the bullets, or the turrets, kill them. And sometimes they can get pushed up against the glass and then shoot fire at you, um, if if they're like in the in the cracks, like that. Oh God, ow! I pressed shift, but it didn't work because it's set to Z. All right, let's turn that off. Oh my God, this armor is so damn fast. I cannot do anything with it except fly around. And this gives us a huge amount of gas tears and some gunpowder, but we don't really need it because we have a creeper farm. Which actually, I want to, I want to see how much that. Ooh, is that a? What is that? What are you? You're dead. That's what you are. Skeleton, I'm guessing. Yeah. Oh, zombie. Okay, I'll just go kill you. And nothing. All right, let's see how much gunpowder this thing has. Wow. That's a lot of gunpowder. How much meat? Bad? Not bad. Alright, nice. Um, what else was I going to show? I know there was something else. Did it? I don't think I showed my aviary. I know I meant to. Alright, so, um, these, these are just apiaries. Um, I have frames over here. Uh, like proven frames untreated I don't even know why I have these anymore and I just stick them in whenever I need honeycomb uh, but I I don't really right now so yeah and then I, over here is uh, pollen or pollen however you want to say it and royal jelly and here is my alviary I have three mutators, a rain shield, and um, alviary lighting so they can work at night and in the rain. And then the mutators, I put ender eyes in there. And the three makes it so it's pretty much almost always 100% um, mutation chance. And I'm working on my second alviary, actually. Oh, wait, I could probably go do that. Let's go make some alviary blocks. So we need... Well, I'll just go show you guys what it is, the recipe. It's honey, uh, royal jelly, uh, pollen, beeswax, and oak planks. Oh, wait. It needs oak, plank oak planks. 
I thought I had some in there. I guess I took them out. Anyway, what you do with the scented paneling is you put them around and that one, impregnated casing, which you make by um, seed oil and just wood, any kind of wood. And it makes an alveary block, and you need 27 of those, so that's like three stack, three, a little under four stacks of royal jelly and pollen each. Then like eight stacks of beeswax and like 12 stacks of wooden planks. And then a crap load of honey. Oh man, it's not even, <laughs> it's not even funny how much honey you need. I could have rhymed that better. <laughs> Oh well. So basically you just take the honey and put it in a squeezer. And I'm just using wax capsules right now. And it squeezes it in. It squeezes it in. Never mind. <laughs> uh, I love it when things don't work. Oh my god, crystals, I hate you. I mean, they have a use in Zycraft now. But I still hate them. They can die. Oh, wait. I'm on cheat mode still. There we go. I was on cheat mode because of... Um, whatchamacallit? What what do you call it? Um, the single player test world. There you go. Yeah. Alright, let's see. What... Um, embittered, tarnished, corroded, frugal, exotic. Hmm. All right, I'm going to go see if uh, the guys want to do something and uh, check how long the video has been. And I will get back to you guys after that. All right, well, it's been about 20 minutes, so I probably should be wrapping this video up pretty quickly. Um, I'm trying to think of anything else that I needed to show you guys, but I think that's pretty much it. Uh, let's take a quick look around around town just just to just to see this this house finally got built well in progress of get it oh dang it never mind oh well so um yeah spawn town's coming along pretty nicely um a couple people already moved out or don't care and whoever whoever's this is come on just cover it up please and they took out underneath the path which wasn't theirs to be well, whatever and someone blocked this off I don't know why or who or what for uh, Zeke <laughs> Zeke's plot is now a bitch what what that makes no sense oh man I don't have my zoom function we could we could do this. There we go. <laughs> Zooming in my whole screen. All right, so that's pretty much it. Uh, thank you guys for watching. If you liked it, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. It really helps me out, and I do appreciate it. And if you want to see more, go ahead and subscribe. Uh, it is spring break right now, so I think I'll be putting out a little bit more content than usual. No promises, but I will try. Uh, I kind of like to get a lot of a lot of stuff done first, and then make a video about it. Um, so, yeah, I'll I'll do what I can. Um, no promises yet, but yeah, thank you guys for watching, and have a good day. See you later. Bye bye.